want to ask you, obviously different sport, uh, but MMA, Ronda Rousey, huge star in, in the sport, you know, maybe the biggest star in that sport, uh, but just kind of whitewashed in 46 seconds in, in a boxing, she got uh, beat up in stand-up. Um, is that something that you think can be corrected at this point? Uh, and what did you think about her performance? Look, it's cruel the way, the way people are, are just talking about her and make a lot of people are making jokes about her. You know, she's an athlete. She goes in there risking her life, and 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 there's no no need uh, for people to, to just clown her like that. You know, she uh, she's accomplished so much. She's not only uh, uh, she's not only been the biggest uh, UFC name out there, but she also, she's also done movies. She could model. She you know she's beautiful. Uh, she's made a lot of money. So you know, I I think I think it's just unfair for for one fight people to just counter out like that you know she uh, she 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 easily come back and and win a few fights if they pick with right opponents you know uh we've seen it in boxing too you know perfect example abner Maris gets gets knocked out against johnny gonzalez and and everybody counts him out everybody thinks he's finished Excellent. everybody thinks square is gonna knock him out and look at what he did to square so you know ronda could could do something similar you know of course they got to pick be careful with the opponents for a while because you know it's it's uh, it's a business too you know and if she's if her numbers are huge which I'm sure they are they were, yeah. then <laughs> then why why would they why, why wouldn't they bring her back and, and do it the smart way uh, one more question just about uh, uh, other fighters Pacquiao wants 20 million dollar guarantee supposedly that's in his contract uh, Crawford says he wants seven million for the fight that seems Pretty reasonable to me, being who they are. What, what, what's your take on that whole situation? I think it's reasonable. You know, I, a lot of people are saying it's ridiculous for Pekka to ask for 20. I think Pekka's worth more than that. You know, he's he's always fight those big fights. Those pay-per-view numbers uh, have been great. If, if they're not as good anymore, he's. I think he still deserves his, his money. And uh, and Crawford, seven million dollars is, is is not a lot of money when you come when you're fighting somebody like like Pekka. You know, I I think I think Crawford right now being mentioned as one of the best fighters pound for pound undefeated world champion i think he deserves his seven or even more you know a uh, perfect example you know brandon rios fought pacquiao after coming off a loss to Alvarado, and brandon made four million so why wouldn't crawford make his 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 seven i think it you know i, I don't even know if it's true if that's what he really asked but i think he deserves that or, or even more and pacquiao definitely has has earned his, his big paydays Last question, man. Just we were talking about you being a big fan. Who is the one fighter that Robert Garcia is like? You find out they're fighting, you're like, I'm, I'm watching. I don't care what I'm doing. I'm gonna find the TV. I'm gonna watch it on my phone. Whoever it is, I'm making sure I watch that fight because I, I love that guy. Man, there, there's so many big fights out there, but I probably, you know, even though there's talk, you know, there's been talk with Mike. Maybe if he moves up and whatever, I love to watch Lomachenko. Right. <laughs> you know, not only look, not only, not only in the fights. Because sometimes the fights are the easy, the easy, the, the, they're, they're easy for him. But in, in the gym, you know, you know, people don't see him spar. You know, I've been to his sparring sessions, and it's 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 pretty pretty insane. You know, the way the way he trains, the way he spars, the way he spars, uh, is, uh, is 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 something I've never seen. You know, they have they have three or four guys lined up because after one round we got to bring in another guy because he you know he's just that badass. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, and then in training too, he you know they have a different technique of training with his father. It's just something that uh, that I, I enjoy watching. And especially when it comes to fighting, I enjoy watching fights. And maybe in the near future he'll be fighting against Mikey. <laughs> you know, I don't know, I don't know if, if they'll even do it because you know he's got a smart manager. If the money's right, I'm sure they'll do it. But uh, but he's got a smart manager too, and and he's got his own his his guys sparring with Mikey, and they they, they know how how strong Mikey is. And and I, I I truly believe Mikey's just too strong for him. But he's got skills, so it's a fight that uh, that would be very interesting. And I would love to be part of that fight. You know, even though Lomachenko, his dad, his manager, we work together, they're great people. But it's a business, you know, it's a business, and we'll be friends before and after the fight. You're going to incorporate into that stuff with the ball on the hat and the weird checkerboard thing he, he does uses all kinds of stuff, man. It's insane. But <laughs> I'm telling you, just sparring itself is, 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 is interesting to watch him spar. Thank you so much, Robert. Appreciate your time, man. Best of luck to you on uh, the 28th. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.